The Associated Press is reporting on a story coming out of Canada. A judge there uh, really swung a sledgehammer at tobacco companies. They say, quote, a court has awarded more than $12 billion to Quebec smokers in a case that pitted them against three giant tobacco companies. The case is believed to be the biggest class action lawsuit ever seen in Canada. Superior Court Justice Brian Reardon said in his decision released late Monday that by choosing not to inform health authorities or the public directly of what they knew, the companies chose profits over the health of their customers. So the tobacco companies have to pay $800 million in the first 60 days regardless uh, of an appeal, so they have to pay no matter what that first part. Uh, the plaintiffs were people who were seriously ill from smoking or people who said they just couldn't quit. Listen to what the judge said, quote, The companies earn billions of dollars at the expense of the, of the lungs, the throats, and the general well-being of their customers. If the companies are allowed to walk away unscathed now, what would be the message to other industries that today or tomorrow find themselves in a similar moral conflict? So the industry argued that uh, people knew about the risks of smoking and that the products were sold legally with federal government approval and with strict regulation. So JTI McDonald, which is one of the tobacco companies, said, quote, Canadians have been well aware of the health risks since the 1950s and health warnings have been on packages for more than 40 years. All right, so where do I fall on this? I might surprise you guys a little bit here, but I'm 100% with the tobacco companies. Look, it's a different story if there weren't warnings on the label. In Canada, they even have the pictures of, like, lung disease and stuff on the labels. If those things weren't on and there wasn't actual information about tobacco out there, then I side with the people who got sick off a product that they didn't know they were going to get sick off of. In this case, you knew. You had the information, you had the warning on the packages, you had the pictures on the packages of lung disease. Everybody knows cigarettes cause cancer and cause problems in today's day and age. So, for you to get sick off a product that you knew would get you sick, and then you sue for millions of dollars or billions of dollars. No, because what's, what's next? What are you going to do? I want to sue the alcohol company because I got drunk and I was sick and I needed to go to the hospital for it. You knew what alcohol was going to do to you and you drank in excess. You know, hey, uh, I smoked too much weed and I was too high and I crashed while I was driving. Now I want to sue one of the legal weed companies in Colorado. No, you can't do that either. You knew the risks and you shouldn't have gone behind the wheel. I mean, at some point, once you have perfect information, then the society should be free and you should, you know, accept the consequences of your actions. If you say, let's have a free society, and then you make a bad decision, and then you sue the company that provided you with the thing that you made the bad decision with, the problem isn't the company. The problem is you. Yes, the, the products can be bad for you, but we live in a free society. If somebody eats too much McDonald's, can they sue McDonald's and say, I'm too fat, give me $5 million? Fuck that! I feel bad for you that you're fat, right? And I feel bad that McDonald's uh, does shit to their food which makes it less healthy. That's not a good thing. You could do some basic regulation there to try to make it maybe slightly healthier. But we're gonna live in a world where some foods are unhealthy. And uh, guess what? That doesn't mean that if you eat too much of it, you get to sue them and take millions of dollars from them or billions of dollars from them. After you have perfect information, then it's all about personal responsibility. If they're withholding information, that's a different story, and you're getting sick when the, you're, you don't know the product can get you sick. That's a different story. Then I'm on your side. But if we're talking about a situation like we see here, well, no, I'm not on your side because you had perfect information and you made a bad decision. You have to live with the consequences of that. That's not the fault of the tobacco company.